Sandling Park um, is a really popular fixture in our summer events calendar. They've opened their gardens to support us for the last eight years. In the total, they've raised £53,000, which is amazing. We respect the hospice very much. We know how much money they're trying to raise, a terrifying amount. And um, we feel we should contribute because the work they do is so crucial to all of us in this area. We've had to um, shut all our shops, we've had to cancel our events. Um, through our shops alone, we're losing £300,000 a month. So to compensate that, we've launched our Still Here, Still Caring appeal. Um, we've found it very humbling because um, everybody's been very, very generous. And thank you to everybody that has supported us. I hope that people will look at this vi uh, video um, and realise what they unfortunately have missed. But I hope also it will inspire them. Um, and you know, inspire them to donate uh, because it's so worthwhile at the hospice. And so please um, think of the garden, which is, does its best to raise money for the hospice, and please do give. I would like to thank everybody at Sunning Park for allowing us to show off their gardens. If you've enjoyed watching their virtual open garden and would like to make a donation to Pilgrim's Hospices, please go to www.pilgrimshospices.org or go to Sunning Park's Just Giving page. Thank you for watching. It's for, you know, it's a family private garden who put all their determination into making it as beautiful as it is now. beds um, are one of the glories of, of, the, of the top lawns. These are Kurumi azaleas from, from Japan and you can see it's a lovely collection uh, but I can remember my grandparents being given decades ago cuttings from which all of these came when they were first introduced into Britain. One of my very favourite plants in the garden, and actually it's, it's very popular with everyone, is the, well, the yellow azalea, known as the honeysuckle azalea. Um, it has the most heavenly smell. Wow. <laughs> we're on at the moment date back to the 18th century to the old house that, that actually was bombed in the war but my great-grandfather Lawrence Hardy moved here um, in the 1890s when he became Member of Parliament for Ashford 
Um, and he developed the garden and particularly he developed the wood um, and planted, started the planting of trees, rhododendrons, azaleas and everything else and the family down the generations have carried his work on and I think improved it. The hurricane was an absolute horror for us as it was for all the um, great gardens in the southeast because you remember a swathe came right through and if you look at the tree behind you, you'll see uh, that half of it is missing. That is one of the oldest trees in the garden and um, the hurricane came through and took the side off and down there, there was a complete path of where the hurricane came and it was appalling. Also in the garden, we have a very fine collection of Japanese um, aces, the, 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 the maples. And I think this is a lovely example. Do you see Acer davidii with these wonderful striations of the bark, and there are lots in the garden. But also, do you see the, the, the number there? That's a collector's number, the initials of the man who collected it. And we have records of, of all our special plants that way. We're all living through very, very strange and very, very difficult times. And gardening um, um, helps the soul, I think, if, if, if nothing else. And we feel dreadful that um, people can't come and see it, but much more we feel for the hospice uh, because we raised, for instance, 11,000 pounds last year. And uh, it's nothing by comparison to the amount they've got to raise, but at least it helps. I think it's great. Um, I think it's wonderful that people will at least get a, a taste of what it's looking like this year and of course ironically um, because obviously the date is through and the garden is open is chosen a long way in advance but this year sometimes the season is early sometimes late this year it's looking stunning and it's so sad that it can't be seen seen, seen by everybody and I'm a great fan of this, this virtual visiting of gardens. I'm a gardener rather obviously and I've been looking at every possible video I can. Um, so I'm, I am visiting other gardens um, using the videos. I would like to thank everybody at Sunning Park for allowing us to show off their gardens. If you've enjoyed watching their virtual open garden and would like to make a donation to Pilgrim's Hospices, please go to www.pilgrimshospices.org or go to Sunning Park's Just Giving page. Thank you for watching. <laughs>